musical for you. I hope you will experience joy that God intended to plant in your heart. Now, children, you are going to help me to pray the pastoral prayer because you are the stars of the Sundays. Would you repeat after me and would you all join me in a moment of prayers? Now you're going to repeat after me, okay? Dear God, Dear God thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. We come to worship you. We come to worship you. We are joyful to sing the Christmas song for you. We are joyful to sing the Christmas song for you. We are happy to tell the Christmas stories. We are happy to tell the Christmas stories. Thank you, God, for my family and friends. Thank you, God, for my family and friends. And thank you for this church and you, oh God. And thank you for this church and you, oh God. Dear God, we also pray for. Dear God, we also pray for. Grandma Giomani. Grandma Giomani. We also pray for Mr. Bob Cole, who's in the hospital. Mr. Harold Lingard, who's recovering from his surgery. Mr. Jason Seely, who's serious infection. And Mr. Fritz, who will be going for a surgery. We believe you are the God who can heal. Heal these people, O oh God. And we pray all this and more. In Jesus' name. And all the people said, Amen. Now, with the confidence of the children of God, would you join me in the praying that Jesus taught us to pray? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. On behalf of the Christian education, I want you to take a look at the future of Ronald here. It's about maybe seven or eight weeks ago that the Christian Education approached me and said, can we do a grand um, musical to give back to the church? And I said, I had my doubts at first because it was such a short time, but kids are amazing. They come through. And it's almost a joy, and I would say it is a joy to work with these kids because they remind me of my youth. If any of the songs that you feel spirited to clap, you can certainly clap because I want you to support this youth. They work very hard. And so as we kids, are you getting are you ready? Yeah. I can't hear you. Are you ready? Yeah. That's all loud they gotta sing. So ladies and gentlemen, friends and guests, I want you to sit back, enjoy the sermon of Joy Lab.
Good job.
Come on, everyone, let's get some Christmas cheer happening. Even if we are leftover toys, we can still be happy on Christmas. <laughs>
some. Just thinking about your phone makes me dizzy. Here down to reality, kid. Racing down the wrong road. I'll give it to you straight, soldier. You're alone. You're just like the rest of us. Leftovers. God will get me to my family. I know it. And he'll get and he'll get you to yours. I hope you're right, but your chances look negative. Let's make the best of our situation and get focused. Stand up straight, don't slouch. We want to look sharp for the after Christmas sale. I can stand up as straight as I can, but who would want me? Who wants a shine bear with no shine? God has a plan for you, shine bear. He wants you to shine a smile on some kid's face. Come on, everybody, let's look for those bandies. I with you, every boy. Thanks, everyone. I really appreciate it. Wow! <laughs> I'm crying now, baby doll. I don't know where to look. You're the smallest. Smallest, so look under the counter. Commence Operation Battery Recon. Here's the mission. Turn out soldiers and find those letters. Move it, move it, move it! <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. 
for you. I found this manger set tossed in the trash at work, and it's only to see the shepherd. I thought maybe you could put it under the trash. It looks great. True as shepherd, though. I'm sure that shepherd is feeling lost and alone. He must be missing his family. Look at it this way. Maybe he's out looking for his lost sheep, and he'll come back when he's found them. I like that. Me too. All right, guys. It's everything's going to be okay. I just wish we could afford to buy a turkey. Christmas just won't be the same without giving each of you a drumstick. Oh well, never mind. It's time you said your prayers, Levi. It's your turn to pray. Okay. Dear God, Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a great birthday party in heaven with a big cake and lots of balloons. Tell my dad hello and I love him and I really miss him. Help mom and not to worry about Christmas this year. Lord, I know times have been rough, but can you do one thing? Give mom a turkey. She loves cooking turkey and you love the drumsticks. Thanks, Lord. Amen. Good night, Mom. Merry Christmas. Good night, Mom. Thanks for understanding about Christmas. Things will get better. Good night. Love you. Thanks, Sandra. I will. Levi, mom's listening. 
Okay. Bye. I wasn't in the crib. There's just one more thing I forgot to do. Okay. Or, I forgot something. If you see that missing shepherd somewhere, could you send it my way? He was a missing family, and I know it's like there's miss someone. Can you tell me? I'm a few boss. 
Crank up that Christmas shout track. Turn up those nativity lights. We have lots of to joy to toys to gather and no time to spare. <laughs> Who's first on the list? The Anderson families. We're on a mission. Operation Merry Christmas. I have one more name to add, the Sanders family. Mr. Sanders died last year and they've been having a really hard time. So get that box over there with that big turkey and then put Baby Doll, Shine Bear, Hatch Bunks Car, and G.I. Jeff into a bag. That leftover shepherd boy looks kind of lonely. Why don't we throw him in the bag also? Let's give him a home. Hey, let's give him a home. It might even remind the Sanders family that even though they're feeling kind of lost without Mr. Sanders, that Jesus will take care of them. The love of Jesus is the best gift we can give to anyone, Tommy. Great, Mr. Bowman. You know that name fits you, sir. You are a good man. Thank you, Tommy. Oh yes, by the way, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Mr. Goodman. 
Let the giving begin.
and the turkey. Thank you, Jesus. You are my prayer. And there's potatoes and corn and lettuce for salad. And look, there's even the makings for Levi's favorite. Pumpkin pie. Who would do this for us, Mom? Jesus. You know, even though times have been hard, Jesus has always been there for us. Family and friends are all around. We decorate our Christmas tree. We hang wreaths on the door. We buy presents for each other. This year, let's make a real difference. Let's go beyond the glitz and glitter of the season to the real meaning of Christmas. Jesus came to earth to give. Let's give back to Jesus. One of the best ways we can do this is by giving to our neighbor. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for Matthew 25, 40. Give according to what you have, and as you give to others, Jesus will bless you. We hope you have a very Merry Christmas and have the joy of Jesus in your heart.
see how I'm running for that, you know, touchdown with a step in your feet, with a clap in your hand as hard as you can, and a count of three for them. Okay, are you ready to hear this? Okay, one, two, three.